Welcome back to the watch review, folks. Uh, here we have a Cadison uh, Lunar Pilot um, homage. The model number of this watch is C7063, and it's a pretty new addition to the Cadison line. Uh, we're going to go ahead and review it and see what it has and uh, how good it is and uh, what are the flaws. This is the box it comes with. It, it comes with a pretty nice box. Um, okay, when you open it up, you got your uh, rubber protector. Uh, you have a um, warrant. Well, this is an instruction book, booklet. Uh, you got your warranty card. It has a little uh, microfiber cloth. And your protector here for your watch. Here's the watch. Here's another protector that comes with it. And you got your link removing tool right down there. Go ahead and put all this stuff back. Take the watch out. And so that way we can review this watch. Okay. It, basically, it is a nice looking watch. Very beautiful. Let me go ahead and uh, see if we can get a better angle here. Uh, the watch has a granite style dial. Um, it has a really uh, thick, well-made sapphire crystal that goes from the edge of the bezel to the other edge. So it basically encases the tachymeter. The tachymeter will be on the inside, just like the Lunar Pilot from Bulova. And there you got your luminous hands and markers. Uh, it's all solid stainless steel and Caddison makes a very well-made stainless steel watch. They uh, is satin. It's very, very uh, no hard edges on it. I still have the plastic on this one, but it has no hard edges whatsoever. Um, you got your register hands on the three, six, and nine. Um, it does have a um, a screw-down crown, which is signed by Caddison. There's a screw down crown. It's a pretty good size screw down crown. So it's, uh, and it's for water resistancy. You have your pushers on this, on the both sides here. Now the pushers do not look like the pushers from the Bulova. I really prefer these type of pushers. This is old school type. And um, so that's a difference there. I, I really prefer these compared to the Bulova pushers that uh, the Lunar Pilot has. The great thing about this watch is the measurements on it. Uh, this this watch, let me see here. You're talking, uh, it's 40, I think it's 42. Let me, let me go ahead and get the measurements of that case here. Well, 41.9, so it's almost 40, I would say 42. And then the lug to lug. The lug to lug is 40, uh, 48, 48 lug to lug as far as the thickness, 12.2 millimeters thick. So it's a good size watch compared to the Lunar Pilot, it's a much bigger watch. This will fit a lot of uh, wrist depending on the wrist size you have and the type of watch you want really this is a great size so 42 millimeters or 40 40 to 42 is is really the sweet spot for watches for men's watches uh, when you get over that they're kind of big and bulky um, depending on the case and everything um, here you have this is the 20 millimeter uh, diameter as far as the bracelet this is these these watches like this you can put them on strap you can put on a rubber band a rubber uh, strap or, or a leather strap these uh, this this bracelet made from uh, Caddison are very well made the satin finish on these things are phenomenal I've had uh, I had another Caddison the the Seamaster 300 uh, homage and I'll tell you the quality is tremendous as far as the stainless steel the bracelets and the cases. Now this one has a uh, deployment clasp, uh, dual deployment, and it's hidden, so it, you don't you won't have that bulk uh, in the back of it. It looks like a like a bracelet, 
and they're very very comfortable the back of the watch is uh, completely um, uh, solid stainless steel it's got a screw down uh, back for water resistancy and this this goes up to five ATM so this is this is a, a, a pretty good pretty well water resistant watch for it not being a diver um, so you can you, 5 ATM is pretty good uh, for for this type of watch here. Um, the loom is a very good loom. I'm going to show you the loom in a in a in a few minutes. What the main thing that this watch has, which is an incredible flaw, especially with the way this watch is constructed, the things that it brings, like the sapphire crystal, the loom, everything. And they made a huge mistake with the movement. Instead of using the VK63, they used the other Seiko movement, which basically, this is not the chronograph hand now. This is the second hand, and the chronograph hand is down here. If you push the, the pusher, the chronograph hand starts, and then push it again, and then I set it back, and it sets back. The problem with that is that the decameter scale is on the outside. So how are you going to measure with the chronograph hand being on the inside? And I'm going to give you a comparison. I have uh, another chronograph here with a VK63. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and take this one out of the box. So you can see the difference. Okay. Now this one. This one here is a courget, courgeot, whatever they call it. Uh, I think it's courget. But see, this one here has the VK63 movement. So when I push the chronograph on this one, the chronograph can measure time. And this is the second hand. They should have made this watch with this movement. It's not that big of a difference in price. I would say probably about the same, especially with these manufacturers getting these movements for peanuts. They should have made this watch with the VK63. That is the major flaw. That's a major flaw because if not, this watch will be really an incredible watch uh, for what you get. But they, they messed up on the movement. That's the only flaw, really, that this watch has that uh, I have no idea how they would mess up like that to put a, uh, the chronograph on the, on the 6 o'clock position instead of putting it on the major uh, chronograph hand. As far as everything else, the detail, the, 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 what it brings you, sapphire crystal, luminous hands, Stainless steel, the stainless steel is phenomenal on these watches. Very well made. The bracelet, everything is tremendous. The case back, but they really messed up on that movement. They should have put the VK63 uh, movement on these watches. And if Caterson is watching, I would recommend for you to stop production and start putting the VK63 on, on this particular model. And, you know, if people want to return and get the v VK63, I would think they should do that because um, it's, it, it's a shame for a watch like this, as well made and as nice as it is, to not have the correct movement in it. All right, I'm going to show you a wrist shot of the watch. And here's a wrist shot, folks. As you can see, I, I didn't take the links off because uh, uh, this watch is going to go up for uh, for sale on Etsy. But um, it's a really comfortable watch. It it tapers real real good. It's got a good presence uh, to the wrist. That's very very comfortable. And you got a lot of links. I have a seven inch wrist, so most likely this will fit an eight, eight and a half maybe. Uh, so it's got a lot of links uh, to the bracelet. Okay, folks, so I'm going to go ahead and try to get you a loom shot of this watch, okay? And here's a loom shot, folks. As you can see, it has really good loom. They don't specify what kind of loom it is, but I, I would 
probably think it's a pretty pretty decent uh, loom by what I see here. It's green loom and the hour markers in the hands and the second hand. Really good loom for for the for the price and the watch. Once again, folks, this is a CA7063 Caddison. It's a beautiful watch, 42 millimeter sapphire crystal. Um, really nice uh, design, really nice dial, all quality stainless steel. I recommend the watch. The only bad thing about it is the chronograph end is in the wrong spot. Um, I thank you for watching the review and uh, hope you have a great day.